Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Wix website fit all screens. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you make your Wix website here fit all screens. So in this case, there are a few things that you need to know here to basically uh, know or make sure that your website would actually fit uh, a specific uh, in all screens. So in this case, we want to go ahead and access our website first. So in this case, I'm already in my dashboard here. Let's go and click on design site at the top right here to enable us to uh, edit our site. So in this case, the great thing about Wix here is whenever you add elements within your website, this will actually automatically adopt on the current view of your website, which is something really cool. But one of the things that you need to know here is whenever you add elements within your section here, so in this case, I'm going to add a new section. Let's go and click on add section here. And maybe I want to add like, for example, uh, I want to add a strip. Let's go and click on add elements or I want to add a strip here. So uh, in this case, maybe I want to use like uh, I want maybe I want to use this one. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to add this one. So we have this section here. So the thing is, whenever you start adding something, like for example, you have two columns here, as you can see right now in this specific strip here. So if you only have like one column here, uh, you should have this uh, broken line in between here. But for multiple columns, as you can see right now, whenever, whenever we click one of the columns here, you have that uh, uh, broken line in between them. So anything that is within that specific section, uh, within inside that broken line, all of the elements in there will be automatically adjusted whenever your site or your um, web page here is being resized. So that's a great thing here with Wix here. So you won't have to worry about that. So just give me an idea. So maybe I want to move this one. So I'm going to move one of the items here, or maybe I could add a different item here. Maybe I want to add a heading. So just give you an idea. So we want to add this one and make sure that it actually fits the whole thing here. So maybe I want to say oh, this is going to be heading one or let's just say heading one. Now, maybe I want to make sure that it actually fits here. So let's go ahead and click on edit text here. Maybe reduce the size. As you can see, it still fits the whole uh, section here. We have 67. So in this case, let's go and click on save here. Click on save and continue. So in this case, whenever we actually click on preview here, so just give you an idea, let's go ahead and click on preview. And in this case, whenever we resize our web page here, so as you can see, whenever we resize it, it will actually automatically adjust to that specific screen. So you won't have to worry about it. So whenever you make your changes, this is how it's going to look like. You could also publish this one to have a better view of it. So let's go ahead and click on view site here. And yeah, so basically the general uh, rule here is to make sure that the uh, lines that you see here are actually uh, contains the actual elements that you want to see. So let's get again, like for example, dot uh, broken lines here, make sure you contain the elements inside it. And also with homepage here, so the idea, going to resize it. As you can see, it actually fits our web page. It's going to automatically adjust. It's going to be always in the center. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.